Hey ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? We are back again with another Alexandra Rodriguez video. And when it comes to Alexandra Rodriguez stuff in particular, she's someone that always had this, I wouldn't say a comparison to Sarah Ray Vargas, but she's always been someone who's been linked to that name because some people have believed that maybe Alexandra Rodriguez looks up to Sarah Ray Vargas purely because they started YouTube around the same time, give or take, and they pretty much both did similar content, you know what I mean? But well, the only difference is that Sarah Ray Vargas went completely to a million subscribers plus Alexandra Rodriguez went to just under half a million, which is still incredibly successful. You can never go wrong with that if you dig what I'm saying. I wouldn't be complaining myself. But of course, within that timeline, there has been a comparison, especially knowing that Alexandra Rios does know who Sarah Vargas is. So there's always been that kind of situation. But for myself in particular, I've now come to a different conclusion. I now believe that that has now moved. I believe that I believe that Alexandra Rodriguez is now on a different path. She's now on a path where she's not necessarily looking up to someone specifically, but she's definitely becoming like someone else when it comes to the fat acceptance, fat phobia, the whole shebang community, if you dig what I'm saying. But before we get into that, though, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, including the Patreon, and every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. And of course, if you're looking to become a member of the channel or Patreon, the links are down below in the freaking description. Anyway, with that being said though, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the nit and gritty of this video. Now, Alison Rodriguez decided to post this picture the other day, yesterday to be fair with you. And the caption says, whatever size you are, you deserve to be comfortable in, in hot weather. This is your sign to wear the shorts, to, um, to wear the shorts, the tank top, the bikini. And listen, I, I agree. There's nothing wrong with this at all whatsoever, but I'm gonna get into why I'm contesting it in a second. Now, obviously, in fine form, as you always know, whenever it comes to her comment section, she's very quick to delete anything. Luckily, I was able to provide her with one comment that was cool. Now, this comment itself in particular does say, sometimes I scroll down your page just to see how huge you've gotten. Now, listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, I get it. When you read this comment, you think, damn, that is a harsh comment. Damn, like you, you, you could have come in a bit more smoother. And this is the thing, I cannot confirm whether the comment was made in a harsh way or not, but what I can confirm is my perspective of this comment. The matter of fact is though, this comment represents a sad truth that she is getting more huge. Which is extremely sad. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to the caption. The caption where it says, whatever size you are, you deserve to be comfortable in hot weather. This is your sign to wear the shorts, the, the tank top, and the bikini. Well, the, um, yeah, and wear the bikini, right? So here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. The reason I contest this is because of who Alexandra Rodriguez is, who she represents, who she's become. And this comes into my own conspiracy. You see, there's a woman out here that goes by the name of Tess Holiday. You may, you may not know her. Now, Tess Holiday is someone who's arguably, in my mind, you know, the 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 the, the queen of the fat acceptance, fat fear with the whole community, only because she's the one I've heard talked about the most, and she's the one that was really given that spotlight on TV internationally, if you think what I'm saying. And she's still doing that till this day. And the reason why I say that I'm now putting in this bracket of Tess Holiday is for because when you read this caption itself in particular, it's the kind of caption that Tess Holler would tell you. But the reason why I like the Tess Holler is because there is something that they both they both have, have in common. What they both have in common is being overweight and staying overweight. And to make it worse, gaining more weight. Now, I can't necessarily confirm 100% if Tess Holler really has confirmed because I don't really follow her on that kind of deep level. But Alexander Rodriguez, she's someone who most certainly has gained more weight as time goes by. And the problem is, is that how can we, how can anyone sit here and take any advice from two people or anyone who's like them who are basically saying these things, not because they want you to necessarily be comfortable with who you are or mean or you love who you are, but purely because it's a money grab. It's a money grab for them to promote people to stay overweight. And that is the thing though, when it comes to Tess Holiday, her thing is literally she gets paid to stay overweight. She gets paid to promote staying overweight. That, 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 that's, that's flat out. Alessandra Rodriguez now, at the same time, isn't necessarily on that scale. She's someone that generally made a platform and she made a platform because her journey was to actually lose the weight or at least maintain a healthy weight. That's what it was supposed to be. Obviously, as time has gone by, she's gained weight time and time and time again. And this is where the problem comes in place, ladies and gentlemen. Fact is, or everything that she says is based behind a lie. It is based behind a cover up. Her talking about, hey guys, it's a sign to be out there and be comfortable in your skin. You know, it's a sign to be out there and comfortable in hot weather. I agree with it. But I don't agree when it comes to her because of what she represents. Because behind anything that she says 
It's never said in a way that's actually caring for others. It's said in a way where it's still destroying herself as well as destroying others as well. If she said, hey guys, I'm actually learning to be fitter still and I'm actually losing weight and I've got the results here. And you know what? Even though I'm still big, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna wear the bikini that I wanna wear because at the end of the day, will she stop me? And I'm gonna keep wearing bikinis until I get to that healthy size. Different conversation, but this one isn't about that. When it comes to her and Tess Holland and anyone else, it's all about, yes, wear these stuff all the time, feel good in your skin all the time, but guess what? You're still gonna be unhealthy. Do you, wanna, do you, do you see where I'm coming from here? If you don't, I understand. But here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, now, again, I'm not really looking to make this video to talk about her appearance per se, but if we just go back to the picture itself and pick, if we go back to this one itself in, in, in particular, you can see that when she's taking her pictures now, and I think this is something that I've mentioned before, or has been mentioned before at least anyway, is that her eyes, if you look at her eyes, because her face has got so much more bigger now, when it comes to her eyes and stuff in particular, it's very hard for us in general nowadays to even see her eyeballs. You know, which is a very sad, sad situation. And to be honest, with you, earlier on today, she decided to post another picture of her and her, her and her friend. And as you can see in this picture, which is a bit more zoomed in, you can see evidently that the features of this young lady is becoming absolutely ridiculous. Her features are becoming absolutely unknown. They're disappearing. Listen, they're disappearing so much that nowadays she gets mistaken sometimes for other for, that, for other YouTubers. Now, whether she gets mistaken for other YouTubers on purpose or not, I cannot confirm. But one of those YouTubers that she does get confirmed from happens to go by the name of Sagittarius Shorty. And it's quite interesting because I didn't realize that Sagittarius Shorty actually knew Alexander Rodriguez was. I knew that Alexander Rodriguez knew Sagittarius Shorty. I knew that Alexander Rodriguez knew who Sagittarius Shorty was, but I didn't know that Sagittarius Shorty knew who Alexander Rodriguez was. But either way, though, this is someone that she now gets confused by. Whether that's on purpose or not, I don't know. I don't know if people are just trying to so I don't know. But it was just quite interesting that that is something that's been spoken about as of late because, as, as, as you can see here, Sagittarius Shorty decided to actually repost one of uh, Alexander Rodriguez's uh, stories. I, I just found that quite fascinating, to be fair. I just wanted to share that for the sake of it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't have much else to add on this one, to be honest with you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I ain't playing with you, you know? Um, and end of the day, you know, you can take this post for however you want to take it, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, all I want to say is this, is that the features of this woman is changing time and time and time again. And they're changing for the worse. They're not changing for the better, they're changing for the worse. And as you can and as you've seen already by now, ladies and gentlemen, she's got to a stage in her in her life where she's now getting that hump. The hump is something that we spoke about previously, okay? And to be honest with you, once you start to get gain weight in areas where you shouldn't be gaining weight, really and truly, that's the moment you should be seeking real help. Well, I mean, yeah, no, not real help, sorry. That's the moment you should be seeking help if you're unable to help yourself. And that is something that she needs to do. But the problem is, is that whenever she goes to doctors or whatnot, she's very quick to call them out for being fat phobic and for fat shaming her. But really and truly, for all we know, they're just trying to look out for her because here's the thing, you know, I know that she's changed doctors as of late, but the matter of the fact, whether she's changed doctors or not, each time a doctor sees this young lady, they're going to see someone that is overweight, someone that needs help. Someone that needs to be in a better place within their physical self. And the problem is, is that she will never ever allow that to happen because whenever anyone comments about it, it's always fat shaming, which is so freaking sad. And to think all the money that she must pay or anyone pays in America when it comes to the health, health system, to be honest with you, if I was in America right now and I went and saw a doctor about something and then they decided to mention my weight, Based on how much I, I, I paid, I, I don't know how much it could be, but based on how much I would have paid to see the doctor, I would be like, you know what, listen, I know I paid for this treatment, but you know what, thank you for telling me about something else I didn't even pay for. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, arguably, some people can say, oh, but some doctors say these things so they can get more money out of you. And as true as that may be, the fact is, though, whether it's them wanting more money or not, either way, it doesn't change the fact that Alexander Rodriguez is not in a healthy state. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, you let me know what you think, please, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll talk about it in the comment section. With that being said, like, subscribe, 